Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing literally the most embarrassing video that I've done ever in my life and that is because I'm going to be going through my old writing. Now I used to write before Wattpad. I was like quite young and then I've discovered Wattpad and things kind of changed but the stories I used to write when I was younger are they're innocent and they're little child writing but I guess to show you guys how like how important writing was to me it has translated into like me today basically what happened was we're moving houses and my mum's like they've got some stuff out in the garage do you want to go out and like clear it out and see what it is and I was like okay so I went out there and I found like heaps of old schoolwork and school photos and diaries and things like that and then I came across a hoard of paper and I realized that it is my old stories from like like way back when and it brought back so many good memories of writing and then I pulled it out and I was like when did I have time to write this much I can't remember how long it took me I'm pretty sure I spent like a year and a bit on some of these pieces I never finished any book I had the attention span of a child <laughs> go figure and I wrote a little bit and then got bored of it and wrote others some of these ideas I could like easily bring into another book today I'm sorry I have like an itchy bite like on my chin but I haven't actually looked through these I can't remember like where everything is or exactly what I wrote there are some things in there that I hope are in there um, I'm not a hundred percent sure but we will look through it together is this which has got some paper in it I have this these are all like even like little diary things like they're double-sided with writing and I had no grammar um, ability back then so don't judge me all this this is all filled and I also have this little workbook that um, is filled with writing. I kind of want to go through this one first. I'm not going to like show you guys everything because I'd be here all day. And also I'm, I'm completely embarrassed. I'm probably just going to tell you guys the plot and maybe read a little bit out. I have one that's about this thick filled with stories. I already know exactly what this one is because I actually wrote a book on Wattpad using this idea on another account that I hope you guys will never find. This much paper. Um, I actually think I had this all neat which is nice because the rest of it is all not to neat. I might sort a lot of this into new folders and keep it because it's, it is special to me and I don't want to get rid of this stuff because it is literally memories of my writing back when I was a young child. Okay, so... <laughs> so I named this story The Vigilantes because I used to watch Arrow way back when and I loved that show and it gave me the idea of writing about vigilantes except I didn't know how to spell vigilantes. So I wrote, if I turn down my light you might be able to... Oh, that's brighter. The visual <laughs> what does it even say antiques by looks at antiques i hate myself and then i spelt it right i must have asked my mum how to spell it properly this material is probably one of my favorites that i wrote about a lot of this is not in order which is a shame because i would have loved to read it through i've actually like had this and like wanted to read it the rest of the book but i hadn't finished it and i was like Damn it, I was actually enjoying this, which is so funny. It's all double-sided too. Now, basically the premise of this one was that it was about this girl who was a vigilante and she had a younger sister who was murdered and she got really mad about it, went and tried to find the killer. Kind of like, you know, the typical, it was basically a stereotypical plot. I actually had kind of nice handwriting back then. I think it progressively got worse. I feel so bad that I can't like show you guys all of it because I actually really like, I can't, if I would, I would read to you guys the first few sentences if I could find them but they're not actually in here. Let me find maybe a sentence that I can read to you guys. This is the gross one with bad handwriting but if you guys look you can see I wrote like hearts all through it. Is that not hilarious? I must have been like writer's block that I do 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 like I do now when I get writer's block I just I just like mope around. I used to not know how to write dialogue. I used to never know that you had to put speech marks in which is so dumb because I was literally 13 years old. How did I not know that? I actually self-taught myself how to write. I'll help you she said. <laughs> And there's no punctuation. I just saw a black hood. Riverdale. His black hood slipped back just enough to show part of his glaring eyes, which... <sighs> I'm not even going to read this. I'm so embarrassed. Okay, this one is the start. This I only wrote like one page. This is like obviously one of those books that I had an idea for. I started, then I moved on thinking I'd come back. Let me turn... Oh, stop turning it up. The visual. 
kind of like the visual antis. <laughs> I'm not actually 100% sure where I was going with this book. Let me just read out a little bit of the beginning. First day of school. By the way, I didn't start with a capital letter. Why would I do that? What? I didn't think anyone was going to see these anywhere. A new school. I stood outside the new school. <laughs> I was such a bad writer. I think I was like, these range from my 10 year old self to like my 13 year old self. So I can't tell you exactly how old I was with each of them, but I was between those ages. The new school, as my mum talks to the principal about how I'll benefit from the change in schools. I used the word school four times in that sentence. <laughs> Me and my mum had moved because she had trouble finding work. I clutched my stomach as nerves hit. I heard all new kids are always the old ones out. True. I think I wrote this because I was a new kid at a new school and I was the odd one out. I had no friends because everybody had known each other from primary and I was the odd one out because I come from an old country school. And I think I was just translating <laughs> my issues into my writing, which I don't do anymore. Don't worry. Nowadays I have a little bit more thought and effort to go into them. Whereas this, I was just like my way of like being a little tweeny and being sad about my life. This one is, ooh, this one's thick. Oh no, it's not. I just picked up two. This one is called Change. Oh, it's not in order. I'm going to read through all these and put them in order, but I'm going to buy new folders because these are like old. So I'm going to buy new folders, sort them, put them in there and like preserve them because I would love to keep them till I'm like older. And I can be like, show my kids, hey, guess what? I was a writer once. Even though I have published books to show for it, but I mean like when I was a little kid, this is where I began. I walked slowly through the dark streets looking for some way to escape my stupid life. I hate myself. Why did I write this stuff? My parents are fighting again. I only have one parent, so that's definitely not something related to me. This isn't all related to me. This is my imagination. I'm crazy. Okay. My sisters left. I never found out where they went, but when they were found lying dead against a riverbank, bodies decaying slowly. Literally, literally, I'm so morbid. Currently reading Hunting Prince Dracula. I started it today. Freaking great book. My parents have started fighting again. That blaming, oh, that uh, like I had the worst. I can't even understand this. Blaming each other, saying one could have stopped, I could have disappeared, but they wouldn't know. It's another one of those bad days. So I slipped out to clear my head. I remember writing this a little bit. A lot of these come from inspiration from other books. Oh. I remember! This is one of the first books I ever put onto Wattpad. I'm not even joking. Basically a girl leaves and then she hides behind a rubbish bin. These are like parts that I remember. And somebody comes along and they have powers. And I put that onto Wattpad but it's long gone at this point. But that was my first book at, at like 20 parts. It hit like 2,000 reads and I was like, oh my god, I was so excited. I just realized I'm like cooking food in the oven and I haven't checked on it. And what feels like forever, I should probably go do that because that is my breakfast cooking. So while I was in the kitchen, I decided that I'm going to do this in two parts because I was like, wow, this is a 16 minute video already and I haven't even gotten through all of them. I haven't even gone through half or even a third of them. So the next one, this is even worse. I was so thoroughly embarrassed. Okay, so I did another adaptation of The Vigilante. As you can tell, I wrote that book various, various times and I kind of perfected it in various ways. But my spelling is not that, old, that great. The visual antis. Do you see that? This is gonna be even worse. No capitalization at the beginning because why would I do that? My father was killed in front of my eyes when I was 14. Four years later, my brother was killed at my 18th birthday. I guess that killers weren't satisfied with just killing my father. Ugh, angsty teen. <laughs> it's all my mother's fault. She was dirty businessman. <laughs> It makes no sense. How can she be a dirty businessman? She scammed the city. So m many important people money were taken. That makes... Okay, my grandma is killing me. So they took revenge. They killed an innocent man who saw through all my mother's flaws just to make my mother suffer. But on the anniversary when I had just congratulated them for 30 years of marriage, father was shoot through the restaurant window. <laughs> She just stood there staring at the lifeless body before she raised her eyebrows and walked away. She just talks about her strength to get through. First this was about her father and then her sister dies. Oh, this is the one I like. This is the adaptation I genuinely like. I walk through the house to see my sister tucked under my mother's arm on the couch. 
She looks up at me and smiles. This one was so sad when I wrote it. Like, this girl was so innocent and then she just died. And then I think I stopped writing this on the paper because I found Wattpad and put it onto Wattpad. This one's called Running. It only has a few pages. Again, I just want to reiterate that these are not based on my real life at all. These are all very fiction. It's like when people ask me in the comment section of my book, because there are romance aspects in my own work, people are like, does this have anything to do with your romantic life? No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. It does not translate. My life and romance in my real life does not translate into my books because my books are fiction and it's set in a completely fantastical world and nothing is out of the realm of possibility. So things are different. Thus specifying because I get that question so often. Night falls as I walk slowly through the dark alleyway. Why are all these so dark themed? I don't know. I was a weird kid. Dangerous. I know. But home is somewhere I don't want to be. All these... Okay, can we just realize a theme here? All of the kids hate their home. And this is... I loved my home life. I literally loved my mom, my brothers. Like, I was... I don't know why. I think this is because I want to write something I didn't really know much about. And that was a bad home life. So I swear that's the only reason it's like that. I found my sister's shot. Why is everyone dying? As soon as the police had told my mom and dad, I left. Not wanting to be around. So much grief. I get that. I can't handle grief. When I grieve, I don't want to be around anybody. I kind of just want to go about my life. I am anti-funerals. I refuse to go to funerals. I went to one funeral once when my friend passed away um, in 2016 and I had a massive panic attack in the middle of it and I was like <gasps> <gasps> and like everybody in the funeral home was like looking at me like what's this girl doing? I didn't really feel too sad. Okay. I mostly felt numb. I stalked slowly through the dark cold alleyways not really thinking of my safety too much. Suddenly I heard a bang. I jumped against the damp moldy brick wall in fright. I looked around, trying to calm my rapid breathing and thumping heartbeat. I spotted a tin garbage bin. I said garbage bin, which is so funny because Americans say garbage can and we say rubbish bin. And I just mixed the two. <laughs> One last reassuring thought, I was off again to be stopped again. Yeah, this is the one that I thought it was. Um, she gets stopped by some guy um, who has magical powers and kind of like witness protection. She has to go and that one is called Running. These are so many great ideas. I could so write a book off these ideas. Okay, this one is called Duck on a chain. So the story behind this one is that my friend for my birthday, like when I was like young, I was like 12 or 13, got me this little fluffy toy. I don't know where it is, but it was a keychain and it was a little fluffy foxy toy and I wrote an entire story off it. So it's weird. Like, I feel like with writers, there are a lot of sensory things that create a plot in your mind. You like, you never know when something's going to create a plot, whether it's people talking, whether it's a situation that happens or whether it just comes from your mind or from another book. But in this case, for me, it came from a single item that inspired an entire story. It's kind of a very, uh, metaphoric book. I don't know how to explain it. I'm, I remember it. I stare at her. She was in my dream last night. We were in a dark garden. My mum's garden. She's floating in front of my face. Her black beady eyes stared right into my soul. Her soft fur was illuminated by the moon. She has no mouth. A strange voice came from her. But a strange voice, Sophie. What are you thinking? So she goes on about this fox for a while. I didn't understand how it resembled me, but I had taken it away. I named it Roxy. Don't know why. After my sister had died in a school fire. Die what my siblings did. I swear I don't. I love you. I love you, Liam and Cody. If you're watching this, I love you. Why did she? I sniff it in disgust. Why? So I can't remember where I was going with this story. Basically, I think that there was somebody trapped inside it and she was, it was kind of like a metaphorical thing where there was something inside and she wanted to let it go, but it was actually inside herself because she had been mourning from her friend's death. At least that's what I assume. Look, little more little hearts just dotted around the page. How cute and innocent. Um, so this was only one little book. There's actually more material, all this loose paper to go through in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys want to see any other kind of book, I also have material that I have on my Wattpad account that I have not published. So if you guys want me to go through that with you, I would surely be willing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you guys in the next one for part two. Okay, I love you guys and bye.